Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to, in essence, restore your jailbroken devices to whichever firmware they're running without updating to iOS 8.4.1, the latest firmware that patches the untethered Taiji jailbreak. This is a really great guide for those of you encountering issues with your jailbroken devices. <laughs> And today's episode is brought to you by lynda.com. Go to lynda.com forward slash Tanner for a 10 day free trial and get unlimited access to courses and tutorials ranging from web development to photography and even video editing. All right, so to start off, what the heck is this and why are you interested or why should you be? Well, essentially this acts as a restore for jailbroken users. So you don't have to go to iOS 8.4.1, which does patch the Taiji untethered jailbreak, meaning you will no longer be able to jailbreak for additional information on the latest jailbreak status definitely check the cards and annotations I will have additional details for you guys on that but for those of you on iOS 8.4 or lower who are already jailbroken good news you can go to a clean version of whichever firmware you're on again without having to restore so it's perfect for those of you encountering issues or complications for whatever reason that may be and even for those of you who updated to iOS 8.4 or the firmware your device is jailbroken on through the settings app and are encountering issues this may improve your jailbreak stability, so it's worth giving it a shot. It's actually from the creator of Cydia, Sorek himself, and it's already built into your device after you jailbreak because it's a part of Cydia, basically. So this is going to be a really awesome tutorial. First though, what you need to do is back up your device inside of iTunes. So connect your device to your computer via a standard USB cable, and you will most likely receive a pop-up asking you to update to iOS 8.4.1. Don't do that. I cannot stress that enough. If you accidentally click update to that and you let it go through, your device will be on 8.4.1 and you will be locked out of jailbreaking for the foreseeable future. So keep that in mind. Do not blindly click on the pop-ups inside of iTunes. And then all you need to do is go to your device tab and click on backup. Seriously, that's it. Once the backup is complete, you can proceed. So what we need to do is launch up Cydia here and you need to refresh if you haven't in a while. So go down to the changes tab, tab Tap on refresh in the upper left hand corner. I'm just going to do that now for the sake of this video and install any and all available updates. That's just to ensure that everything functions as expected, especially if there are any pending Cydia updates. Now this is just for a tweak I have installed, so we don't really need to update that. We're just going to continue onward with this video. What you need to do is go to the search tab down below at the bottom and you need to search for Cydia Impactor. So let's go ahead and type that out now. All you have to do is just type in Cydia and then IMP and it should already be up. But anyway, Cydia Impactor I-M-P-A-C-T-O-R. And once you tap into it, you should have a modify option. The icon actually shouldn't be on your device already. So to get it to appear, all you have to do is tap on modify followed by install. Once you do, tap on confirm, and it should just go through the install process. After it's complete, you can tap on return to Cydia, and that's all we need to do inside of Cydia itself. All right, so tapping on return to Cydia here, we're going to press the home button and swipe over. It should have automatically added it to a blank space on our springboard. As you can see, we have Impactor here. When we open it up, it gives us some additional information on what Cydia Impactor is. I'm actually just going to close out of this and give you guys a brief rundown of how it works. So essentially it uses Apple's BOM lists or bill of materials for whichever firmware your device is on. So if it's 8.4 like my iPhone 6 Plus is, it will use the corresponding files for iOS 8.4. From there, it will look at your device's system files and the BOM lists, and it will see what's changed and then replace those files. Also, it should, in theory, move all of the system applications from the user to the system partition again, which is how it is by default. And finally, it runs an erase and wipe all content after, so that way everything is off of your device. It's also a really great option for those of you who want to sell your devices, wipe all of your data, but also maintain maintain that higher selling point of a device that's able to be jailbroken. So that's it. It's really that basic. You can read up more on Cydia Impactor. Actually, inside of the package itself, Sorik has provided a great type up there. So I definitely recommend reading it if you want additional information. The only caveat with this is that it does not work on the sixth generation iPod Touch because it has not received an OTA update that's jailbreakable. The only one is, of course, iOS 8.4.1, so it cannot compare your system files 
rules against those for iOS 8.4. So if you actually try to run Impact, or I'll show you what happens, you receive an error. So when you tap on delete all data, you receive an OTA find error. That's why you cannot use this on a 6th gen iPod touch. All right, so we're going to switch views here to my iPad and get started. All right, now that I've switched views here, you'll notice I already have Cydia Impactor on my device's home screen here, and we can continue. Keep in mind that I do have a backup of my iPad Air 2 on my computer, so that way I can restore from it and then re-jailbreak. So all we have to do is just tap on the option at the bottom to delete all data and un-jailbreak device, and then tap on delete all, and it will proceed. So as you can see, it's going along here. We have a status bar right above the current step, and it actually tells you what's happening here on the left hand side. So this process may take a while depending on your device and depending on what you have installed on it, but just note that again all data will be deleted and your device will be unjailbroken. That's the intention of this utility though. From there we can restore from our backup in iTunes and re-jailbreak. Those are the steps that you need to take to again improve the stability of your device's jailbreak. I will have an annotation on your screens now to my untethered Taiji iOS 8.4 jailbreak tutorial that you can follow once you've run through Cydia Impactor. I'm just going to let this play through though so you guys can see approximately how long it should take. I'm not going to cut anything out just so you guys can see the steps. I will also have another link on the screen in the annotations that will allow you to actually skip ahead throughout this process for those of you who aren't interested in watching the entire thing. So ensure that you view this video on desktop so you can skip ahead. It's also paramount that you do not interact with your device at all during this stage as it may force you to actually restore to iOS 8.4.1 and lose your jailbreak.
All right, so as you can see, it's done now inside of Cydia Impactor. We have the Apple logo up with a progress bar beneath it, and it should just be performing the final on-device reset right now. So let's go ahead and wait for that to complete. And once it's done and after it reboots, we should be at the slide to setup screen on our pseudo restore device, which again will be on iOS 8.4. All right, so it's just rebooting right now. Once it's done, it will be at the final on-device consolidation step, and then we should be at that slide to setup screen. So I'm going to go through this really quick and I'll cut this segment out and I'll return right when we're at the get started option. All right, so now we're done. It says, welcome to iPad. I'm going to tap on get started. As you can see here, we are now inside of iOS at the home screen. I'm going to open up settings and show you guys that we are still indeed on iOS 8.4, a jailbreakable firmware. But really quick, I just wanted to mention that because I was logged into an iCloud account inside of settings, it did have activation lock on. So you need to keep that in mind when actually performing this. You will need to be able to log in with your original iTunes account. So let's go ahead and launch up settings now. All right, so now inside of settings general about down below for the version, you'll notice the iPad confirms it is running iOS 8.4, so we can now read jailbreak with TIG. So I really do hope you guys like this tutorial. Keep in mind it's intended to not only improve your device's stability, but also to just wipe all of your data securely so that you can actually resell your device if you need to. Keep in mind though that you should probably set it up yourself first, so that way you can disable the activation lock if you intend to sell your device. I also wanted to thank our sponsor for today's video, lynda.com forward slash Tanner, the best source for comprehensive tutorials ranging from web development to photography and design. Their guides on Final Cut Pro X, software I use almost every day, and Xcode, particularly the Swift training guides, are great. In fact, use lynda.com's video tutorials to learn how to edit videos like mine, similar to the one you're watching now. Go to lynda.com forward slash Tanner to start your 10-day free trial now. That's L-Y- nda.com slash Tanner. Use the link so they know I sent you. It can also be found down below in the more info. And as I mentioned before, refer to the annotation so that you can now jailbreak your device. If you guys like this video and it helped you, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release videos like this one covering various things ranging from jailbreaking to the upcoming iOS 9 firmware, or even the next generation iPhones being the 6S and 6S Plus, be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And to be updated even more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, as well as Instagram at ICUA. ID. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.